Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing an unboxing of Battletech, a game of armoured combat by Catalyst Games and Tops, I believe. Let's have a quick turnover. Yep, Tops. Okay guys, so if you haven't already seen it, I've done a video for the Battletech beginner's box. Go um, see that if you'd like to. Uh, I'll put in a link or a card at this moment. So guys, I'm excited because I've always wanted to play Battletech. I've always wanted to get into Battletech and never got around to it. And I was very lucky because I thought I wasn't getting this this uh, as early as I was. And it turns out my local friendly store managed to pick up both sets for me. So I was really happy. I was one of the few people that even managed to get one, I mean, one of the sets, let alone both. But I got my trusty box cutter with me. So gents and ladies and gentlemen, let's open this up and let's take a look on the inside. Now... I'm not sure if I'm going to read the fluff on the back of this time because I am dyslexic and that doesn't always do me favours, to be honest. Right, so let's move this out of the way. Let's take a quick look at the front work. I love this inner city. That's, that's kind of cool. Let's zoom in just a bit. Now, I'm thinking this one is a griffin or a wolverine. I'm not 100% sure. The one behind, I think, is a shadow cat because of the shoulder cannon. Again, I could be wrong here. And the other one that's running beside it is a locust, but that, I believe, is a catapult that's just been smashed to the ground. So again, I'm not 100% sure who the, what mech this one is. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments down, um, down below. I'd be much um, interested in. Now, the, one of the things I would have liked, let me say, there's a few bits I was hoping the, the big 100 ton mech would have been in this, but it's not. Uh, not too disappointed about that, if I'm being honest. Okay, so let, maybe let's try a little and see how I do. It's in the dawn of the 31st century. You are a mech warrior, master of a multi-ton towering avatar of destruction. That is the catalyst... Oh, sorry. Of over of more than three thousand years of battlefield technology development, and previous heirlooms passed from parent to child across the centuries, an un unassailable an, an unassailable mark on your station. Whether a soldier of fortune or a true blue blood patron, you you drop into the hot zone across a thousand worlds and expand the stars, spreading the empire. Of one of the noble great houses. Now I know I made a mistake with some of the reading there, so I do apologise. Okay, so this is what's at the back here. I'm looking forward to seeing what's on the inside. Now I've been told there's another novelette in this. I wonder if it's different from the first one. Yes, it is. So let's put the lid over here. So there's another little novelette. I'm already liking the fact there's some miniatures. Now one of these I've already got, and the other one, and I'm gonna have to try and remember which one it is. So there's a novelette this time, and so, but both have different stories, I like that, so, also you get your two, two little dice. Now the only thing I'm a little worried about this time is I don't see the sheet, oops, that's not good, that should have been quite firm. I don't see the sheets that I saw in the other one, that worries me a little, also the cards seem just a little different from what I remember a minute ago. Right, so before I look at the cards, before I look at the miniatures, I just want to take a look what's underneath. We'll get to the miniatures in a second, because I kind of feel like I'm missing something. Let me kind of have another look at the back of this for a sec, see if they're meant to... Oh, well, there's meant to be some sheets, but they could be underneath all this. Sorry, this is just me being a bit... Where is everything? Well, this feels thicker, and I'm already opening it up without even trying. So, again, you've got this, uh, the other mechs. Now, I believe that's an awesome... Uh, I believe that's a griffin. Locust, catapult. Now I'm lost. That could. Oh, yeah, I'm a bit lost. So I believe that is the commando. That is the thunderbolt. Enforcer? But I could be wrong. So I'm not going to say, oh, this is definitely this. So this is deep water levels. Open terrain, again, like valley little bits. I like this, rough terrain. This is cool. And then you turn over, you, oops, and you get the, ah, right, again, that's kind of cool as well. So you get this sort of like Marsy kind of atmosphere and so on. 
let's put that over there. So you get two maps in this one. Ugh. Oh no, you get, yes, you do, you get two maps. So let's try and move these over this way for a second so I can try and put these down. Let's put you over here. We're going to look at the miniatures and all of that in, in a bit. But I just want to try and take a quick look. Now, again, the only other problem, I, as again, as I said with the beginner set and this, I don't like how flimsy these tiles are. I mean, sorry, these maps are. And I've got this upside down. <laughs> um, so that worries me. It just seems like you'll get a few plays out of them and then you're going to need to either get a PDF or something that's going to... Yeah, it kind of worries me a little, if I'm being honest. But I like the fact it's nice, a nice little road. A lot more stuff on this one. Of, like, instead of it being so open, like the start set ones are. And I like the fact the maps are different. So it means, you you know, the two sets is not going, oh, hi, you've just got two of the same maps. I think that's really good. Again, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Sorry, guys, if you're not getting a great view on all of this. Let's just... Zoom in just a little. I'm not sure you can read anything anyway because my camera is not the best one in the world. Hence what I'm saving up for this year. Um, so yeah, that's that map. Let's get the next map out. Sorry about this, guys. Let's move that into the lid for a second. So guys, you know, like, what got you into Battletech? Now, for me, it's a mixture of... Uh, playing Battletech, not the game, sorry, playing Mech Warrior Mercenaries was probably the big one. I did enjoy Mech Warrior 3, I think it was Mech, or is it Mech Warrior 4 when you're house um, Devon and then you you take on Steiner. No, that's, I know Mech Warrior does that as well, but so this is like the nice sort of mountainous sort of terrain. I really do kind of like that. Um, so yeah. It's looking really. I do like this. Again, I, with these sort of numbers, I'm wondering if these are like just in case you've got these special things where you can put mines or uh, a drop strike or something like that. I'm probably thinking too much of Warp 40k there, really. Uh, I do because I also think a squad leader where you could have you have stuff written down on a piece of paper. You know, as long as you 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 can be trusted. That is because I know some people that I played with before. I know it's a lot of scribbling on their piece of paper where the mines are meant to be when I play squad leader, so, yeah. Um, I do like the look of this. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this type of, uh, different types of world would cause different types of heat, just like in the um, Battletech um, computer game. So, right, so I haven't got around to the miniature, I haven't got around to the car, so I've done my, I've done my layout a bit different this time, guys. Okay, so you've got nice reference. Ah, so there's the difference. I can see what the difference is now. So you've got these lovely lovely thick board sort of like I wouldn't mind if the maps are a little bit more like this so they've got the heat modifiers okay so this is get where to hit I like this I like this just showing you sort of like clear what cover terrain sort of does um, automatically falls automatically so different things get hit again I don't know what this all means yet I don't know what it does straight away that's a locust I know that that's a locust E so and I wonder if it has its basic yeah it has its basic uh, weaponry I'm, I'm assuming you can add to it and minus to it you've got the skills so little bits of the side I do like this it's heat scales 1 to 30 then you've got another variant, which is V. So you've got two different variants. Now, what is the difference? Does one have a jump pack? No. Again, it's this one's got some machine guns and lasers. This one's got just lasers, and they're in the arms. So I know where I would probably like to shoot if I could, just so it became sort of disarmed. Then you've got your commando. Again, that's going to have two variants. I'm not going to show everything here, guys, because I don't want to get myself into trouble. Then the next one's a griffin, which I've kind of already seen, but I didn't think the griffin would be the next one in weight-wise. Um, again, got two variants of that. Then you've got the shadow orc, which is the same weight. My mistake. I thought it was a slightly, sorry, slightly uh, heavy uh, lighter a shadow orc. I thought it was fifty tons, but it's fifty-five. Then you've got a wolverine. Okay, which is a wolverine in this set? I didn't think it was. 
You've got two Wolverines. Then you've got the Catapult, which I, I know of the Catapult, which is a heavy mech. Then you've got the Awesome. I've missed something. I've missed. I must have. It just seems to... Yeah, I did. The Thunderbolt. Now, did I miss something else? Because the Catapult... Anyway. Sorry about this, guys. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any other mech. Catapult, yeah. Uh, Thunderbolt, so you've got two variants of that as well. Which one of them can jump, the other one can't. Then you've got the Awesome, which is the really big... Ah, so, but it's only one Awesome. Uh, one variant for the Awesome. Now, I thought there would have been two, if I'm being honest, but there isn't. It's just the one variant. And then you've got the Battle Master. And then you've got something in the back where you can make up your own sort of mech, I think, here. That's cool. Then you've got the Prime. Now, I wonder if the Prime is just something that explains what's going Yeah, different star time periods. I'd be honest with you, I would like to play Clan Wars as well. But, you know, 325 has been really fun to play in the... Uh, upstairs on the uh, PC, on the Battletech. I've, I have done it. I'm thinking about starting again on my other channel, which is like I play... Uh, let's uh, light hand let's plays, which is just going to be me playing um, computer game stuff. I haven't got around to doing much with it. In I am going through certain things. So you've got the different houses. So you've got Devon. Okay. I wonder if they they show the other little houses, House Steiner, like the um, Torrens that's in the computer game. Uh, so that's what I should be probably looking at is the battle manual, is it, guys? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm interested upon expanding at some point. I don't don't know if I'm going to go silly, but I would also like to try and get some miniatures. Wow, there's a lot of stuff at the back here. Wow, that seems to be... I may have come into this a little bit later than I uh, anticipated. Okay, so there is the rule book. Now, this this is a lot, lot thicker than the um, last one. So... Yeah, this is... This kind of looks cool. So you've got the different sort of like unique sort of different sides, where to movement. So yeah, so it's about facings I think as well is important. Um, combat, the most important bit of the game. That's quite a lot. Kick attacks. Wow. That's kind of cool. So you like um, short range to long range. I suppose it depends what the weapon is as well. Club attack. So there's a, I suppose different, me um, some mechs actually have um, axes and stuff like that that I've seen before. So then your damage resolution. So I, I think I should play the starter set before I even think about coming on to this one. Um, instead of complicate, over complicating it. Also I like the fact I've got scenarios. One, two, three. Uh, I think there's only three, but that's kind of cool. Conclusions. Jump, add, uh, step three. Uh, so this is like adding some more things. I like that. Um, Tunnish tables. Uh, so, wow. Engine range. Cool, this is, this is very interesting to me. The different, uh, some equipment tables. Sorry about this, the lights. A bit too bright, but yeah different weapon so I'm liking that that's again that's always told me a lot more and it had more information than the starter sets which makes sense why the starter set is as cheap as it is and this one's a bit more expensive um, so I'm liking that now now for the next bit guys hey let's take a look at the sorry guys just trying to get this stuff into this bit so it's out of the way Let's put that over there, there. Let's move these. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the pilot cars. Now, I don't want to show too much. There's quite a lot here, though, if I'm being honest, guys. Um, in fact, I feel like there's a... Sorry for the noise. It's my dog getting upset that I'm not actually playing and I'm looking at cards. Okay, so there's uh, different names actually on these cards than these Star Wars. Again, I like that. That means it gives it a bit more. Yeah, so. House, uh, Mercenary. 
So different, yeah, let's move that out of the way so I don't end up putting that on something. So let's just put these over here for the minute. So again, you've got the commandos, the, uh, I think this is griffins, sorry, I almost called it wolverine, it's not, it's griffin. That's the uh, shadow walk. Again, this on both sides. This one is your wolverines. Catapult. Again, two different sides, two different pilots. No, I, I did. I'm kind of interested in seeing what this sort of like. It's like the computer game. You have different pilots that have special, other special abilities. Obviously, the thunderbolt. So yeah, I'm liking this. This is cool. Oh, sorry, that was the fun, yeah, it was the Thunderbolt. And this is the awesome. Zoom in, zoom out. So I'm assuming on the other side is the Battlemaster. So they, these two don't actually have two different cards. Oh, that's a little annoying. And then you've got the Locust, and I believe this is the points. And if you turn on the other side, there's the other variant. Sorry, guys, that kind of annoys me when it doesn't always just focus straight away. Trying to work out why this one seems to be one point less, the V variant. They're both scouts, they're both. Except for this variant, I can't tell. It must be to do with the loadout. Different type. Oh no, I don't want to put that in there. Ah! Okay, uh, no, I'll get that back out in a second. So that's the Commando, which is actually cheaper than the Locust. Again, I'm not too sure why. So both, both are 17 points. I'm going to try and get that out carefully in a minute without trying to damage it. That's the, again, need to zoom in, zoom out. Sorry about this, guys. Um, that's the one of the Griffin variants, which is a lot more expensive than the two we just saw. Again, I wouldn't mind getting some more of these sort of things. The Shadow Hawk, which is a little cheaper than the Griffin, uh, except for this side. This side's really expensive. Um, again, I'm assuming that's due to weapons. And then you got your Wolverine. Uh, zoom in, zoom out. Sorry about this, guys. As I said, I'm just going to try and get the new camera soon. So, so this side is more expensive than the other. Yeah, just a little bit, but it is more expensive. Then you got the catapult. Now, again, this is a heavy mech, so I thought this would be a lot more expensive. And yeah, it's not. So let's turn this around that side for a second, and it's still the same price. I wonder if that's because it's um. Then there's the Thunderbolt. I think though the way this is set up, there's only one card for each side. So I'm, I'm wondering if you can never have. Let's just try and do that. Yes, I didn't damage anything. That was my fear. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Locust, and. So the Locust obviously is a really small mech. Now let's bring this up a bit. Here guys. The Locust is obviously a small mech. Now, I remember playing as the Flea in Mech Warrior 4 Mercenaries. So, yeah. There's, um, I wouldn't mind a Greyhound as well, if I'm thinking about it. Because in, in my other video, I did talk about I'd like a Spider. I would like a... Um, I just feel like there's something... Okay, so let's put my hand here. So this is obviously the Commando. Again, another little mech that I got used to using in other mech games. I like the Puma from the Clans, which is, I don't think it was his actual proper name from, I think it was the Adder with the Clangers. Um, I believe this is my uh, Shadowhawk. I think I said that right. Again, so a mech you basically start off with in battle. Battletech. I'd like them to do a sort of beginnings, if it's, depending on what path you picked, could change what mech you start with. Okay, what was the other one? I think it's this one. Now, I believe this is a Wolverine, or is it the Griffin? I know one of them is actually in the starter set and the other one's not in this, so... So, yeah. I thought there was nine mechs and I wasn't. So the starter set has... One of the other ones, if you're with what has some stuff, that's good that they have information for both. Then I want to go on to you, which is the catapult. And now if you put arms in this, you've got a mad cat, right, guys? And I don't think the mad cat has these sort of things sitting on the top. But again, it 
does look cool to me and it does bring back a few memories from playing like the uh, old games because I wouldn't mind having one of these on my side like standing away and just firing in for support missiles and stuff uh, then we go to the Thunderbolt now the Thunderbolt I only really got to know of because of Battletech uh, I don't remember it in the other ones I could be completely wrong it's just something I probably never really picked up um, but I would as I said I'd like I would love it if they released a, a, a clan set like this as well I don't think they're probably ever going to which is a little upsetting for me did I do this one yeah I did that one yeah just making sure I did that one um, so this is the awesome again that looks really cool really uh, I did use the awesome because I used to like the um, the variant they used to have a I think it was a couple of um, a um, PPCs so my heat was a problem but if you got went up against some me uh, light medium mechs or light mechs you just generally blew them out of the sky before the, uh, just blew them up and damage them before they even knew what the hell was going on. I do like that. I'd like to get um uh, if I knew how to paint, I'd be painting some of these uh basically house steiner or even make up my own little colour. Now I believe this is the battle master. Now again I've never really used the battle master so I don't know what it's like. Um it has an empty fist so to me that says well I say an empty fist it's probably got a couple of lasers on that fist if you look along the little side bit there. But yeah, it does look doesn't look too bad. Uh, it looks like a bigger version of the uh, Griffin to me, if I'm being honest. I would again, I'd love to see quite a few of the other sort of mechs come out. Um, I know that in the start set they showed this lovely bit with. Um, let's put you into there, and then let's get you over here like that. They had this lovely. Uh, oh, sorry. There's going to be an in here about the, oh, these metal models but to tell the truth if they were to sell these sort of plastic things I'd buy them you know like little sets like the uh, but I don't know if they're allowed to because I because I know they had this whole court case thing that delayed so much mm -hmm. stuff recently and it's just I'm hoping that was, that's going to be the end of it all because I'm saying I would love to get some more miniatures for this but I'd rather have them plastic ones than the some others and there's a few miniatures I would like to see um, which I'm hoping do come out at some point. Anyway, guys, hopefully I haven't rabbited on too much. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I really, really am happy I got this. Um, it's made my day. I haven't been too well recently. Um, unfortunately, I think I got a dose of food poisoning, which just took me out. So I'm lucky this turned up when it did. I hope you're all having a good day, guys. I am a better than I was. I'm really happy I got managed to pick these two uh, sets up today. If this is the first time you're watching this one, I've got the starter set, so maybe go off and enjoy um, watch that video. If not, um, guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to giving these a go. I'm definitely going to try and play the starter set first, though, to try and get my head around the rules a little bit. Um, I would like a few more light mechs, some more medium mechs, maybe some... Uh, you know, a, a bit of a mixture, I suppose. I, I wouldn't mind getting a few heavy ones as well. Clanger mechs would be great. Uh, so yeah, well, I would love a Mad Cat. That's that's uh, the the uh, Puma slash Adder, I believe it is. Uh, there's a few. There's a few Clanger mechs I would like to see. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a good day. See you later, guys. Remember, if you like this video, please click like. If you like to subscribe, please do hit that notifications. Let me know in comments, are you buying this? Have you managed to get this? If not, you know, are you happy that they are, have released this? Would you be interested in getting this if you're a person who's already played the game? Or are you someone who's a bit sceptical? Um, I don't know much about Catalyst games, so I don't know how, how reliable they are. So, yeah, guys, anyway, I hope you're having a good day. See you later. Bye.